Hi yogis and welcome to class. This is a class in which we will be focusing on our hips and be working up towards the baby grasshopper, which is a forearm balance that is considered to be maybe a little bit easier and more accessible to more people. So let's get started. Sit back towards your heels, close down your eyes and just let your hands rest on your thighs start to tune in to your breath just observe as your inhales travels along your spine from your sitting bones to the top of your head And observe your exhales moving all the way back again and just find that release of your shoulder blades down your back and that lift of your lower core your pelvic floor and just take a short moment here to set an intention for this class if you want to maybe an intention of gratitude gratitude for what your body has to offer you today blink your eyes open clasp your hands and press your palms towards me really wide in between your shoulder blades inhale press your palms to the ceiling really press them up gaze up inhale and sit even taller and as you exhale just lean over to the right keep your weight down through your left hip so there is some sort of a heaviness down towards the hip and that can really stretch out your entire left side inhale it back to center and exhale Dropping it over to the left this time. Maybe you can gaze up underneath your right armpit. Inhale back to center. Press the palms away. Exhale, release your hands. Draw your shoulder blades together. Cactus your arms. Lift your chest. And as you exhale, just swipe it forward and give yourself like almost a hug in. Clasp your hands once again. Same sequence. Press your palms towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, dropping it over to the right. Slight gaze underneath your left armpit, inhale back to center, lift your lower core and exhale, drop it over to the left side. Inhale back to center, press your palms up, exhale, cactus the arms, lift the chest, lift the gaze and exhale, other arm on top, hug it in. Inhale, sit all the way up and come to all fours. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, lift your navel up, find that engagement throughout your entire upper body. With your inhale, drop your belly to the floor and at the same time lift, point your toes and lift your heels up towards your glutes. Gaze up and draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, rounding in to cat pose, press the mat away. Inhale, point the toes, lift them to the glutes and exhale to round. Two more times like that. Follow your own breath, inhale and exhale. See if you can just get a little bit more expansion in there each time. Inhale to lift and exhale, rounding in. Find a neutral spine with an inhale. And from here, we're just gonna do some two big circles with your spine each direction. So start with inhaling and dropping your belly to the floor, lift your gaze, and then draw your spine out towards the left side. And then as you round your spine, draw your gaze towards your navel, and move your spine all the way out to the right and inhale to lift the gaze 
and drop your belly to the floor once more circle this direction try to get into even every little corner of your spine and other direction two big circles really work into this and enjoy the movement of your spine inhale for cow and exhale for a neutral spine inhale to engage your upper body make sure that your toes are tucked and exhale to lift your hips rather up and back adjust your stance for your first downward facing dog pedal out your legs one at a time maybe you want to do some rolls with the back here as well and then find stillness in downward facing dog press firmly down through your hands try to wrap your shoulder blades or your triceps under and so you can widen between your shoulder blades lifting your hips up and back drawing your navel up towards your spine gaze towards your knees inhale come high up onto your toes and with your exhale drop your heels over to the right come to your the fingertips of your left hand and stick the butt out to the right side and bend into your knees and see if you can find elongation along your left side body inhale it back to center plant the palms and exhale drop your heels to the left come to your right fingertips sticking the butt out to the left and really crunch your left waist here so you really squeeze into it inhale back to center and exhale lower your heels all the way down inhale come high up onto your toes gaze towards your navel and just make one big roll all the way to the top to high plank stay here press the palms down make sure that your hands are still underneath your shoulders now you're pressing firmly down through your hands tucking your tail engaging your legs exhale bend the knees lift the gaze lift your tail and roll it all the way back to downward facing dog two more times rolling forward with an inhale and exhale gliding it back all the way down downward facing dog last time inhale it forward and exhale to glide it back one deep breath in downward facing dog let your next inhale sweep your right leg up and back bend your knee and open the hip press firmly down through your fingers through your hands and make sure that your right shoulder stays parallel with your left and start to make a couple of big circles with your knee maybe with the ankle as well and change direction press firmly down through that left foot keeping the engagement in your left leg inhale lift your right knee up towards the ceiling use your core exhale draw your right knee to the outside of your right shoulder press firmly down through your left toes inhale it all the way back up exhale knee to the outside weight is in the hands inhale lift it back up exhale once more inhale it back up exhale knee to shoulder and then softly land your right foot on the outside of your right hand lower your left knee lift the chest inhale and just let your hips sink down as you lift your chest and as you exhale just straighten your right leg and turn your right toes up towards the ceiling bowing in on the inside of your right leg inhale lift the chest exhale bowing in pressing down through that right heel inhale lift it up exhale to bow in once more inhale lift it up exhale inhale lift it up stay at the front place your left fingertips to the map and sweep 
mat, sweep your right arm up and then bend your left knee and see if you can draw your left foot to the left glute, sweeping your right arm back and see if the right hand can grab the inside of your, or actually the outside of your left foot. Inhale, lift the chest and if you have the space, if the, the hand doesn't reach the foot, just reach for it. Engage through your left hamstring and through your right arm. If your hand reaches the foot, draw the foot away from the body to open the chest out to the right side. Inhale, exhale to release both palms on the inside. Heel toe your right foot in to the center, lift your left knee, press the mat away round your spine and lift your right foot up and back, up from the mat, drawing your knee to your chest. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest, gaze in between your hands and gently place your right foot in between your hands, lowering the sole of your left foot down, setting it up for warrior two. Sweeping the arms up with an inhale, exhale, sink it down, sink deep into your hips, challenge your right thigh and just make sure that your right knee, just try to draw out towards the pinky side edge of the foot. With your next inhale, turn your palms to the ceiling, straighten your right leg and let your arms sweep up and as you exhale, Adjust your left foot so that the toes point out towards the corner of the mat and exhale, sink it down to Skandasana, turning your right toes to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, center. Exhale, Skandasana to the left. Inhale, center. Use your core for stability. Exhale, warrior two. Once more, center. Skandasana, center with an inhale, exhale warrior two, stay, and the next inhale, reverse your warrior, drawing your right arm up and over, and exhale, windmill the arms down, and draw your right leg all the way up and back to downward facing, three-legged downward facing dog. Stay for one inhale, exhale, Draw your knee to chest and step your right foot forward. Sweep your arms up, high lunge. Exhale, engage your core, sink deep into your right thigh once more. Inhale, find length along your side body. Exhale, palms together. Draw your hands in front of your chest. Lean into your right foot. Engage your core and see if you can just turn or <laughs> jump all the way to the top of the mat, into your warrior three, flexing your left foot and let your inhales find length from the sole of your left foot to the crown of your head. Stay for the exhale, pressing firmly down through the sole of your right foot. Inhale, with your exhale, bend your right knee and draw your left knee to the outside of your right calf. Inhale, warrior three, exhale. Inhale, warrior three, use your glutes to lift and straighten your legs. Inhale, warrior three, exhale, curtsy squat, stay and lower your left foot down and then lower all the way down into a seated twist. So your left leg is around your body and your right Foot is placed on the mat on the outside of your left thigh. Inhale to sweep your arms up. And exhale, rotate to the right. Let your left hand grab your right thigh, your knee, and place your right fingertips behind you. Straighten your spine with an inhale. And exhale, see if you can deepen your rotation. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale it back to center, sweep your arms up. Exhale, rotate to the left. Place your right arm on the inside of your right knee and let your left fingertips find the back of the mat and just see if you can rotate 
a little bit more over to the left. Inhale, back to center. From here, just lean back slightly. See if you can unfold your left leg. Maybe scoot yourself back so you stay within your mat. And from here, we're gonna see if we can find the baby, baby grasshopper pose. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your right toes to the side of the mat and turn your entire upper body to the side of the mat, placing both of your shoulders, or rather mostly your right shoulder, on the inside of your right knee. Lean forward here, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean forward and eventually lift the butt and your left leg off the mat. So from here, you're gonna straight, straighten or stretch your right arm out to see if you can grab either your calf or the pinky toe edge of your left foot with your right hand. And from here, what you're gonna do, inhale, and with your exhale, use your core, lean forward and see if you can find the baby grasshopper. So the trick is here, I'm gonna show from the side, to place your palms somewhere in line with your right foot in this case, lean forward and maybe the butt lifts. Remember to gaze forward, don't gaze down. It will keep you from finding the lift. And of course you need to press firmly down through your right foot to lift off. Come back to center, return your left foot. So it's around your body and you can lean into your right foot, into your standing split, lifting your right leg, sorry, your left leg off the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale to fold over your right leg. You can point your toes, flaunt your toes. And if you want to use this opportunity to take a couple of handstand hops, I'm the first one to encourage you. Maybe go for some switch legs or just kick up and see if you can find balance in your handstand. Or maybe not today. Oh, there we go. And if you're still in your standing split, perfectly fine. Inhale, lift halfway and exhale. Slowly lower your left foot back to the back of the mat. Plant your palms. Step it back, high plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, for upward facing dog. And exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Ooh. Those handstand hops always get your heart pumping. <laughs> Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Bend the knee and open the hip. Make sure to keep your left shoulder down, drawing down, and start to make those big circles with your knee. One direction, maybe the ankle, and just switch it out to the other direction. Inhale, lift the knee as high as you can. Pressing down through your right foot. Exhale, left knee to the outside of your left shoulder, weight into the hands. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, switch it forward. Don't forget to use and engage your right leg. Exhale forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale forward and hold. And then gently place your left foot down. Heel toe it in. Lower your right knee, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, half Hanuman, straightening your left leg, turning your left toes to the ceiling. Inhale, come forward, and exhale, glide back. Inhale forward once more, and exhale, sit back. Once more, inhale forward, Exhale, sit back. Last time, stay forward. 
If you're not already, come to the fingertips of your right hand, sweep your left arm up, gaze up and see if you can follow your hand with your gaze. Bend into your right leg this time. Use your right hamstring to draw your right heel in towards the glute. See if you can, with your left hand, grab the inside, now I mean the outside, of your right foot. If it's there, start to just draw your right foot away from the body and using this motion to open the chest. Inhale, stay for the exhale. One more inhale and exhale to release. Palms to the mat, lift the right knee, really press the mat away and draw your left knee in towards the chest. Inhale, three-legged downward facing dog. And exhale, gaze in between your hands. Draw your left knee to your chest and place your left foot in between your hands. Lower the sole of the right foot. Sink your hips, set it up. Warrior two. Inhale to center, arm sweep up. And exhale, Skandasana on the right side. Inhale to center, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, center, exhale, Skandasana. Inhale, center, exhale, warrior two. Center, Skandasana. Inhale, warrior two, exhale. Next inhale, reverse the warrior, draw your left arm up and over. And exhale, frame the front foot, come to your right toes, press the mat away, again, draw your left knee in towards your chest. Inhale, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, knee to chest, step it through, and inhale to high lunge. Exhale, sink deep, press out through your right heel here. Inhale for length through your, both of your side bodies. Exhale, palms together, hands in front of your heart, leaning into your left foot, and just press yourself forward into warrior three, or several small steps, and then you get there, lifting your right leg, flexing your right foot, and really focus on length alongside your entire back body. Inhale, and with your exhale, bend the left knee, draw your right knee to the outside of your left calf. Inhale, back up, warrior three. Exhale, bending, curtsy squat. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, curtsy. Warrior three, and curtsy. Last one, warrior three. And this time, curtsy, lowering your right toes, and eventually the entire body Finding your twist, setting it up with your right leg around your body, left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Inhale, sweeps your arms up. Exhale, twisting to the left. Grab hold of your left thigh with your right arm. If you want more, placing your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Left fingertips down, inhale for length. Exhale to rotate. One more breath here. Inhale it back to center. Gaze up. Exhale, rotate over to the right. Left arm on the inside of your left knee. And just rotate even more using your core. Maybe gazing over that right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Gonna go for the, um, the baby grasshopper on the other side. I'm gonna turn this direction. It's gonna be more fun if I'm facing you. So you're sitting up like this, and again, you turn this time. It's gonna be the, your left toes turning to the side, turning your entire upper body to the side, bringing your left shoulder on the inside of your left knee, setting up your foundation, your hands, meaning your fingers are spread wide so you have a good area and you prepare to lean into your fingertips. 
So just take a few here. Think chaturanga arms, leaning forward. And then you gaze towards your right foot. Release your left hand and see if your left hand, you could even, even grab somewhere around your leg. It works just as fine to just grab hold of the leg if that foot is too far away. Or you can grab the pinky toe edge of the foot, leaning forward, remember the gaze, and then press it down through your right left foot to lift it off. You can stay here for a couple of breaths. Really great to work some strength. Inhale, and just release with your exhale. I'm gonna make myself back to where we were. Rebending my right leg in, placing the sole of my left foot down and sweeping my, the right leg up into standing split. Fingertips to the mat, halfway lift, finding length through your back and exhale, bending over my left leg. And once again, if you are in the handstand business, if you're interested in just finding a, any kind of handstand when you're in your flows, feel free, kick it up, or just take a couple of hops. And then when you're done, make your way all the way back or just stay in your standing split. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, bending your left knee, lower your right foot all the way back to the back. Step back, high plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga. For upward facing dog with an inhale and exhale to downward facing dog. Great work. Inhale, high up onto your toes, gaze towards the navel, rolling forward. Exhale to glide it back. Inhale, roll forward. And exhale, lift the hips, lift the chest, glide back once more. Inhale, forward. Exhale, glide back. Oh, once more, forward. Stay in high plank. Lower your knees almost all the way down. Round the spine, press the mat away, gaze towards the navel, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your knees at the exact same time. Sit back towards your heels. Great work. Inhale, press your palms forward. Press them all the way up to the ceiling and exhale, drop it over to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Back to center with an inhale and exhale, shoulder blades together, cactus the arms, lift the chest, exhale, give yourself that little hug rounding in. Clasp your hands. Press palms forward and all the way up. Exhale, drop it to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. To center with an inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms. Really draw your shoulder blades together and hug it in. Great work, you guys. Inhale to release. Finding your way all the way down into your Shavasana. Release your arms alongside your body. Shake it out a bit. Take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale through the nose and release it out through the mouth. Two more like that, inhale. Last one.
feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you please. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Great work today. I hope to see you soon again. Namaste.